Hey everyone, Hydrahead here, and I'm going to do another shitty manga review uh, where I'm in my car trying to show you pictures of this while only open it with one hand. So this is One Punch Man. This is the uh, manga form. So One Punch Man, if you're not familiar with it, I'm going to go ahead and just riff on what in the hell it is for a little bit. Uh, it started out as a webcomic by One. Owen E. Um, it was surprisingly good for a webcomic as far as story went so they turned it into an anime that did really well as an anime so then Yusuke Murata Murata um, picked it up as a, a manga and was doing the art in the manga and Yusuke is he's fantastic um, uh, here we go one Punch Man first appeared on the web. We tried our hardest to bring you the best book possible. I hope you enjoy it. And then the, uh, the actual artist joking about how hard Saitama is to draw. Saitama being the main character. But look at this. He's quite fantastic at what he does. And one cool thing about this, in the, uh, the anime, this guy right here looked almost spot on for Piccolo. He looks a little bit more unique when Yusuke is drawing him. But anyway, what, what, what um, One Punch Man is actually about is it is a, uh, about Saitama, who's this guy here. He's basically a failed businessman. He couldn't, uh, couldn't get a job, and he was leaving another failed attempt at getting a job when he happened to run into this giant lobster man. Uh, <laughs> and the lobster man was just randomly killing people, but he really liked how lifeless and dead Saitama looked and uh, decided not to kill him and carried on his way but he mentioned that he was looking for this uh, <laughs> big chin kid who offended him and basically what happened was the lobster was laying out on the beach sleeping the kid walked by and drew nipples on his chest and the lobster wanted to kill him now so uh, Saitama is just walking along internally monologuing and he runs into this kid with giant ball looking chin realizes that's the one ends up saving him from that lobster beats the lobster and decides that he's going to be a superhero. He then starts training extremely hard. Uh, if you've not seen it, I'm not going to go into what the training is because that is kind of a spoiler, even though if you know people that talk about this, you've probably heard what his training is. <coughs> the, uh, the one punch theme is essentially he's become so strong that he can beat anybody with a single punch and he hates it. There's no uh, excitement no difficulty to what he's doing. It's um, He's very, very discontent with his powers. And this is basically him constantly trying to find somebody who can take more than a single punch. At the same time, he's also training Genos, who is a uh, basically a cyborg who also wants to be a, a hero so that he can defeat this monster cyborg that killed his family. Genos is an amazing character. Um, really 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 big fan of how Genos is set up he's also uncomfortably attractive in this just very very man pretty in the manga in the uh the anime maybe a little bit less but uh in my opinion next to Hisoko with his hair down Genos is probably the most attractive male in freaking in manga right now it's it's creepy <laughs> so um I highly recommend this. It's very entertaining as far as uh, humor, action. The artwork is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I can't recommend this high enough. If you haven't seen the anime, uh, feel free to watch it first. You're not really ruining anything or gaining more one way or the other. Uh, even check out the webcomic. It's pretty interesting to see the side-side -side comparisons of what the webcomic used to look like versus what the professional manga looks like versus what the anime looks like. It's pretty neat. Um, oh yeah, and this is only $10 in the U.S. Uh, sorry, Ricardo, you're going to get ripped off because you live in commie land, but the rest of us can enjoy it for $10. Um, it is manga, so it reads backwards, obviously. But let's just check out some of this art. And yeah, I don't want to give... Uh, I really don't want to talk about the story at all because I don't feel like giving anything away. You should really just be checking this out, but 
Great artwork. I'll see you getting like. So, a lot of books, especially mangas, um, you'll basically have like one central villain through the issue, and you might get some fight scenes with it. Um, unless you're reading like Berserk or something. This, you got this single volume, you have, I think, about five separate boss fights, and some of them are multiple bosses at once, which is neat. Um, a lot of action while still fitting story into it. And uh, I think I pretty much said all I can say, other than you guys should check it out. Highly recommend it. Thanks for watching my video, and hail Hydra, baby.